Hi everyone, welcome to our tutorial today. I'm going to talk about the interfaces of the Kitten Editor through a mini project. Five parts will be covered in today's tutorial. Now let's have a look what are they. First, it's about the library. Whenever you're creating a project, you can add your background and your sprites not only from the local file, but also from the library. In the library, you can see many sprites, backgrounds, and sound effects here. These inclusive IPs are created by our Codemo animation department, and these lovely UI designs are welcome among students. We will keep creating more materials and enrich the library in the future gradually. Now, I will change your background picture for my project. I want to make Codemo play bubble in the flower field. I select the flower field here and then click confirm. See, the background picture is ready. Next, we will add some background music for the project. In the last tutorial, we have connected some sound block to our Mother's Day car. Do you know the differences between these two coding blocks? This coding block will play the sound and run the following script at the same time. And this coding block will play the sound until it is finished and then run the following script. There is a tip for you. If you want to repeat the background music, do not put the play sound into the forever block. Otherwise, many sounds will be played at the same time. Let's have a look. See, sounds are played in chaos. You should do the replacement. Put the play sound until done into forever. Let's have a look again. Hmm, it's good, yeah? Okay, you know how to add the background music to your project, right? Thirdly, we will learn how to adjust the size of a sprite. There are two ways. First, you can modify the values here in the property bar. Okay, let's try 200. Oops, it becomes a giant. Then what about 80? Woohoo, it's nice. Okay, and the second way is dragging the sprite directly, which is more easier and more convenient, right? Make the sprite to a suitable size and move to a suitable position you like. Do you remember how to make an animated sprite? Codemail has many styles here. So if we want to make an animated Codemail, we need to make it keep switching styles. When start clicked it, forever, and that's the style. Let's have a look. Oh, however, it switches the styles very fast. So we can add some time spacing. Here, zero point one seconds. Let's have a look again. Hmm, it's better. Next, we will move to our fourth part today, Stage. Stage is a place where you can see the effect of your project. You can change the sizes of the stage, which means that you can change the scales of your project. In general, if you design a project that is used for the laptops, you can use the landscape 16 to 9. Landscape 4 to 3 is generally used for the iPad screen. Portrait is used for the mobile phones. And you can enter the full screen through this button. You also can open the SY coordinate to check the specific position of the sprite. Finally, we will talk about the menu bar. The first column, File. You can open the projects that you created or modified recently. New. You can open a new project here. Save as, you can save online to your account. Local project, you can open a local file for your, from your computer. And save the local. If you don't have an account, don't worry. You can save a local file and open it from your computer next time. Second clump 2. Teaching plan is a user-friendly function for teachers. Teachers can prepare the classes here. 
and click this button to generate a teaching plan automatically. This is a QR code that you can scan to play the game or watch the project. And this is a script for the background. The information of the sprite will be recorded on the left side and the script is on the right side. Teachers also can download this teaching plan automatically as a PDF version here and you can print it out if you need it. Code Convert This is a function designed for advanced learners who will change it from graphical programming to real code programming learning. And you can choose two programming languages here, Python and Java. Scratch file. This is a function for importing scratch files. You can open your scratch file and it will be transformed into kitten file. Then you can edit or continue to create your project in the kitten editor. You can put more lovely UI design, lovely icons in your projects. However, in Scratch, you cannot open the kitten file. And here, you can rename your project here. You can save. Share. Share is a very nice function for you. You can share your project with your friends or your family, open any apps with QR scan function. Then scan the QR code to see your project. And you also can copy the links and share with anyone. Okay, this is our tutorial today. Let's do a brief conclusion. We are talking about five parts of the Kitten Editor today, including the library, background music, size and adjustment of the sprite, stage, and menu bar. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment with us. See you next time.